Hello children, welcome to my channel Crack Physics. I request you please subscribe and press the bell icon in order to get the further notifications. So today the topic is electricity. This electricity comprises of different topics like charge, electric field, current, Ohm's law, motor, generator. So basic cause of electricity is nothing but the charge. Now definitely the question is coming to your mind, what is mean by the charge? So before knowing the definition of charge, you must know what is mass and what is pole. See, the aim is in order to describe the, you know, discover the hidden things. What is the hidden thing, student? Now see, the mass create some force, one kind of force. The pole create one kind of force. The charge create also one kind of force. So the kind of force produced by the charge, the kind of force produced by the mass, the kind of force produced by the pole, they are non-contact force student. Now how many types of non-contact force are there? That you know. Three kind of non-contact force. One is gravitational force is non-contact force. Magnetic force is non-contact force. And electrostatic force is non-contact force. So what do you mean by mass? That is taught in class 9th. What do you mean by mass? Mass is a fundamental physical quantity which is responsible to, to produce the gravitational force is called mass. Mass creates the gravitational force. Suppose I am holding this chalk, I will leave it, then it will fall. By the help of a non-contact force, it is reaching to the ground. What is the name of non-contact force? The name of non-contact force is nothing but the gravitational force. So what do, you, what do you mean by mass? Mass is a fundamental physical quantity which is create the gravitational force is called mass. And what is pole? It create the magnetic force. And what is the charge? It create the, yes, electrostatic force. So it is a subatomic particle. It is an subatomic particle, subatomic particle, atomic particle, atomic particle, which create, which create, which creates electrostatic force electrostatic force electrostatic force is called charge it's called charge जो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स क्रिएट करता है उसको चार्ज बोलते हैं और क्या है ये सबऑटॉमिक पार्टिकल व्हाट इज मीन बाय सबऑटॉमिक पार्टिकल द इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन दीज आर नोन एज द सबऑटॉमिक पार्टिकल आल्सो दे आर नोन एज इंटेंसिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल इफ यू टेक अ सब्सटेंस व्हाट इज द इंटेंसिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल द इंटेंसिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल आर नथिंग बट द इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन सो वन इज अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज अदर नेगेटिव चार्ज so if it is a positive charge and the negative charge what kind of force it will produce attractive force will produce this charge are unlike and it is a positive and positive what kind of force will be produced it will repelling force will produce so because they are similar minus minus also they are similar they will repel to each other so now you got a property of the charge what is the property of charge unlike charges they attract like charges they repel we are discussing if the two similar charges are there they will repel each other if two dissimilar charges are there they will attract each other and similar charge they repel each other so first property is like charge unlike charge like charge like charge what attract means they produce the force of attraction like charge attract attract and unlike charge repel each other unlike charge unlike charge okay repel each other repel each other the first property second property is what the si unit of charge is si unit of charge is coulomb According to name of August Coulomb, we did, uh, the name is given that is the SI unit of the charge is Coulomb and charge of one electron is 
charge of one electron that denoted by symbol E is equal to 1.6 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. It is a three basic properties are there. One is additive property, additive property, and conservative property. Conservative property and third one is quantization property. Quantization property. The charge got three basic property. One is additive property. Additive property means suppose here minus three coulomb charge, four coulomb charge, and minus two coulomb charge is there. What is the net, net charge? So net charge will obtain by simple addition minus 3 minus 2 plus 4 minus 5 plus 4 is equal to your minus 1. So the net charge in the system is equal to your minus 1 coulomb and it is obtained by simple addition. So this property is known as additive property. Second is conservative property. Conservative property says that charge neither created nor destroyed. We cannot create a charge, we cannot destroy a charge. That property of the charge is called conservative property. And other is a quantization property. Quantization property means if you know the charge of electron is equal to E, if there are n number of electrons is there, so total charge is equal to Ne. If you know the charge of one electron and there are n number of electrons is there, you are calculating, you are quantizing the quantity. So the net charge is equal to Ne. So Q is equal to any, this property is known as your quantization property. The next topic is potential difference. So what is potential difference? You know, we say that always the flow of energy is higher concentration to lower concentration. So similarly, charge also of flow, their higher potential to lower potential. And potential difference is, means the difference between the two potential is known as potential difference. What is potential? First off, before discussing the potential, we'll discuss the electric potential. Electric potential. Electric potential. Your potential means what? Your energy upon your mass that is called gravitational potential what is electric potential work done by the charge upon the charge is known as your electric potential so electric potential that is your electric potential ep is equal to work upon how much work is done on the charge on the charge on the charge is called electric potential so how to define the electric potential the amount of work done upon the charge bringing from infinity to a particular point against the electrostatic force is called electric potential and what is the electric potential difference what is the electric potential difference now amount of work done bringing the charge from one point to another point at that time we said we said that electric potential means amount of work done amount of work see here amount of work done upon the charge from where to where infinity to particular point one point one point and if you talk about the electric potential difference means amount of work done bringing in the charge from one point to a point to b point here some particularly is there one point to another point but here there is no particular you are bringing the charge from infinity to another point so that is known as your simple electric potential if somebody is ask you what is the electric potential difference electric potential difference that is va minus bb is equal to amount of work done upon the charge bringing the charge from one point to another point is known as your electric potential so electric potential is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity and its unit in SI system is its unit its unit in SI system is volt 
द इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज यूज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज यूज विच इज यूज टू मेजर वोल्टेज वोल्टेज इज कॉल्ड वोल्ट मीटर वोल्ट वोल्ट मीटर एंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वोल्ट मीटर ऑलवेज यूज इन द पार्ल कॉम्बिनेशन वोल्ट मीटर ऑलवेज यूज पार्लली वोल्ट मीटर वोल्ट मीटर ऑलवेज यूज पार्लली वन सेकेंड आई फील टू टेल यू पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वॉट इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वॉट इज योर पोटेंशियल योर वर्क अपन योर मास दैट इज योर पोटेंशियल हाउ मच वर्क यू कैन डू अकॉर्डिंग टू योर मास सपोज यू हैव हंड्रेड के जी ऑफ वेट सो हाउ मच वर्क कैन डू योर हंड्रेड के जी वेट दैट इज योर पोटेंशियल सिमिलरली अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन अपन द चार्ज इज नथिंग बट इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इफ यू आर ब्रिंगिंग वेन यू ब्रिंग द चार्ज फ्रॉम इन्फिनेटी टू दैट पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल वट इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन अपन द चार्ज ब्रिंगिंग द चार्ज फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनादर पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड दिस पोटेंशियल इज नथिंग बट वोल्ड ऑल आर वेरी फेमिलियर विद द वोल्ट ओके the how we will measure the volt which normally we use measure the volt by the help of the voltmeter and very very important thing how you will use the voltmeter voltmeter always used parallelly to the circuit it is a scalar quantity and its si unit is volt